Jenny from Evolution Power Sports and today I'm going to show you how to install your Map Tuner X. So when you receive your Map Tuner from us, it'll come in a box like this. Within this box, there will be the cord that you connect to your computer, it's a USB plug, and there will be a diagnostic cord with an HDMI for whichever vehicle you have. This, the black one, is for the Polaris, the gray one is for the Can-Am. Also in the box, you'll have obviously your Map Tuner and step-by-step -step instructions. In case you get lost, you can just read them and it should help you out. Okay, now we're going to take the corresponding cord to your vehicle and the map tuner and I'll show you how to plug it in. Once you're in your vehicle and you know that you have the corresponding cord, you're gonna to wanna to hook it up. So you're gonna to wanna to hook up the gray end to your diagnostic port, which in the Can-Ams, it'll be underneath the glove compartment. This little gray thing. In the older Can-Ams, it will be on the driver's side by your left leg. On the Polaris models, your diagnostic port will be located underneath your hood, right here against this back wall. It's plugged into a dead plug as well. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take the gray port and plug it in. You can see that they just attach easily there. And then you'll want to plug it into your map tuner. Once you're plugged into your map tuner, you'll turn on your vehicle, but you won't start it. Once your vehicle is on, you'll notice that on your map tuner there's two buttons, Add Vehicle and Information. You'll want to click Add Vehicle. It'll ask you if you want to add a vehicle, and you'll just select Next. It will be detecting your vehicle. Your VIN number will pop up, and it will ask if this is what you want to add. Select Yes. You'll wait a couple minutes, and then it will say register vehicle has been successful. Now what you're going to want to do is you will unplug the HDMI cord from your map tuner, and then you will plug the USB cord one into your computer and then other port into your map tuner, like so. On your computer, you're going to want to go to your web browser and enter in the website that you'll find here on your instructions maptuner.se forward slash download forward slash default period ASPX. Once you get to that screen it'll open up and you'll see something like this. You're going to want to download either the 64 or the 32-bit operating system depending on what your computer system has. This computer has a 64-bit operating system so that's what we'll be downloading. So you'll go to it and you'll click download it's going to ask me if I want to run or download it so I will save it we'll wait for it to download once it's finished downloading you're going to want to run it so that it'll allow the setup through your computer system each computer will be different through here but generally it's just like installing anything else on your computer you'll follow the steps that it directs you through Once you have successfully downloaded the program to your computer, minimize out of your web browser and click on the My Map Tuner app. A small pop-up window will appear and you will select New User. In this, it will pop up and you will want to put in your correct email and make sure that this is your correct email address because this is very important. Your full name, so your first and last name, and the license code that was given to you on your instructions that you received with your package. It's a 20 digit code and once you put it in, select OK. Once you have your username and your password set up, you will log in here. Once you are logged in, the Map Tuner program will open and you will have the option to synchronize. Select Synchronize. Your vehicle will synchronize with our database so we will be able to see your vehicle. This will take a few minutes. After you have finished synchronizing, this will have synchronized just one of the tunes that you have purchased to your map tuner. You will have to send an email to maptunerx at evopowersports.com to let us know that it is done synchronizing and that your vehicle is in our system so that we can send you the rest of your tunes. Once we receive your email, you will receive the rest of your tunes and then you can go through this and synchronize the rest of them to your map tuner. Once that is all complete, you can disconnect your map tuner from your USB cord. 
and reconnect it to your HDMI. Once you have disconnected from your computer and connected to your HDMI cord that is connected to your machine, you will notice that there are more icons on your map tuner. You're going to select programming. And because this machine has big injectors, an upgraded wastegate, and a full exhaust, the ones available for it are stage 3, 4, and 5. So we'll just select 5 for this one. Select next. It will go through and it will tell you what is required for this specific tuning. You'll make sure that your machine has all of these things and then you will select download. Once you have finished installing your new tunes to your map tuner, you will be able to switch back and forth between your new tunes and your stock without the use of a computer. It will ask you if this is for sure what you want to do. Select yes. Once you select yes, it will finish programming your machine and you will know that it is complete because you will hear your fuel pump kick on. From all of us here at Evolution Power Sports, congratulations on the installation of your new tune. If you have any issues or concerns, please feel free to contact us at our tech support, 715-247-3862.